sweetheart, it's okay. Everything in her face was just calling out for help. Hi, how are you? I was like, oh my god, you're breaking my heart, I need to help you. Okay, from the highway, I thought I saw a dog curled up. It's that black blood over there. I'm driving along the blueberry fields. I'm like, wait a second, was that a black dog or was that a black bag of garbage? Sure enough, as I got closer and closer, it was a dog. Hi, are you okay? My heart sank at first because she wasn't moving. She wasn't reacting to my voice. And when she turned, I was like, oh my God, no, no, no. That looks broken. Oh, you hurt your leg. Hi, sweetheart. Well, it's okay. Come here. It's okay. Oh, you got a really bad leg. I really wanted to help her, especially with how much pain she was in from her leg. She's really scared. She's got a strap from my fanny pack that I'm going to try to use as a slip lead. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. I think she got tired because her leg's hurting. She let me put a makeshift slip lead over her. I just kind of softly talked to her so she could get used to my presence. Yeah, you're a very good girl. You're a brave girl. Yes, you are. You're super brave. It took 30 to 40 minutes, but it was a huge relief for me finally getting her in the van and knowing that, okay, I have you safe now and I can get you help. I'm calling my boss because I work for the Regional Animal Protection Society and I'm like, okay, I'm bringing a dog in. You guys need to be ready. Good girl, nice and easy. Good job. They did an initial exam. She was perfect with it. She was great, did such a good job. They scanned her for a microchip. She didn't have a microchip. So she came home with me. Two days later, she received her surgery. Slowly coming out of the sedation. She did really well. We found out she's so sensitive to sedation. When she comes out of it, she's such a little mushy baby and she just wants to be like held and swaddled. Little Blueberry, she's such a cute little sweetie pie. We started calling her Blueberry and she immediately started responding to it. So the whole rehabilitation recovery period was three months long. I was very thankful that Blueberry made it very easy on me and her. What are you doing? Are you silly? <laughs> what are we all doing? After that, I did a very slow introduction with my dogs and the cats. It went very well. I have one cat, he's like my Walmart breeder. He came right up to her, he's like, hi, how's it going? How's your day? And immediately he just starts rubbing all over her. She's just sitting there like, oh my God, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> I think I always knew she wasn't going anywhere, but I'm just like, no, no, she's a foster. She's a foster. <laughs> I think everyone saw, they're like, okay, sure, Shayna, she loves you, you guys are stuck together. You're a pretty girl, yes you are. You're a pretty girl. Adopting is really amazing. I feel like she's like my soul dog. The rescue part of it and just all the emotions that went into it, I guess it connected us. Are you a good girl? Yes. Wait. <laughs> You little potato princess. I love doing anything kind of new with her. She just loves a new adventure. She does everything at a thousand percent. Oh my god, you're such a ham. It's like, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running here, I'm running there. It's, it's so funny. <laughs> she's just so happy with life. It was crazy to think how far she's come. She obviously went through some pretty horrible things, and yet she is able to come through that and out of it a really super loving dog. I'm happy to be a Blueberry's mom. Blueberry, come! Come on, baby! Yeah!